Hello again. In this module, I'd like to cover something a little different than we've done in some of our other topics. I'd like to talk with you about things you can do to help you succeed in college, particularly in a college of engineering. After going through this course, I hope that a number of you decide to go on to engineering and technology in college study. So while I'm no David Letterman, I've got my list of top five things that I think you can do to help yourself succeed. All right, so let's start. The number one thing you can do to succeed in the College of Engineering is do your math homework every day. Ah, I know you, that doesn't sound exciting or interesting, but it really is so important. Math forms the foundation of so many courses that you'll take in college. Certainly your calculus courses and that, but even beyond that, your engineering courses rely on that math that you learn. So having that solid foundation in math will enable you to succeed in other courses. And if you get behind, particularly at the beginning, it's just so hard. So my number one thing that you can do to help yourself succeed, succeed is do your math homework every day. And, and you know what? Even in high school, if you just pay attention to what you're doing now and try to get a great foundation, that would be really helpful. All right, number two, to form good study habits. Some of you uh, have those right now. You've had to teach yourself how to apply yourself and how to, to work hard on your courses. Others of you have been able to get by in high school because hmm, maybe it wasn't that hard for you or you just get it pretty easily. But I bet almost all of you will uh, need to probably bear down and study a little bit more once you get to college. It's just it's never another level of difficulty. So form good study habits. That doesn't mean you have to always go to the library eight hours a day, but it means you have to figure out for yourself where do you study well? What kind of distractions do you need to avoid? For some people, they can study in their dorm room. They have a roommate that is also studying something that requires work, and, and they can do that okay. But other people need to go to a library or find a, a study area that they use and they go to frequently. So whatever that is for you, figure it out. Where do you need to go to, uh, to study? And then uh, make sure you don't have too many distractions around. Some people study well with the radio on. Some people study well with the television on. I don't recommend it. Um, I particularly don't recommend sitting there at the computer with instant messenger popping up messages every five seconds. Whatever it is though, try to figure it out and, and develop those good study habits. And I want a, a, a word of encouragement to some of you um, who right now aren't having any trouble with your high school studies, uh, but may later. And there's really a couple groups of you. One, of, one group is uh, for those of you for whom high school, you know, that studying is it's not that big thing. You're into sports, you're into social stuff, and you do okay in high school. But when you get to college, it's going to be harder to uh, keep those grades up. So you'll need to spend some more time on developing those study habits. So don't, don't assume that because of your social graces and your uh, friends with everybody that that'll carry you through college too. You're going to need to develop those study habits. And another group of you that um, you might find this... Uh, hard to believe, but some of you who do really, really well in high school, uh, you're going to have to develop some study habits in college too. You're just going to get to that next level where um, you were smart enough to do everything at the last minute in high school. Well, that probably won't be the case in college. You can't wait to the last minute. You can't get by on sometimes just being the smartest kid in class because you know what? A lot of those smartest kids in classes are going to show up in your calculus class and it's going to be harder. So you're going to have to maybe develop some habits you haven't had to do before. All right, enough on that. Develop good study habits. The third thing you can do to help yourself uh, to do well in college is get to know your professors. Believe it or not, they're not bad people. They're not ogres. And many of them, not all, but many of them will like to know you too. So you'll probably go to school and the class may be large, particularly your freshman year. You might have 50 people in that calculus class. You might have 40 people in that chemistry class. And it will be very difficult for a professor to get to know you personally. But professors have office hours and they have study sessions. Go to the study sessions. Ask questions if you have questions. Really do. Don't be um, hesitant to get help with the work. If you don't understand something, uh, go to the, a professor's office hours and discuss it with them. Even if you have to um, even find a reason to go, I think you should. I think you should get to know each of your professors a little bit and help them to know you. Help them to know that you're interested in their subject. Help them to understand that you're applying yourself and that you're very interested in getting a good education. You know, it's really a whole lot harder to give someone a bad grade if you know them personally. So if you get to know your professors and spend a little time with them in an appropriate fashion, that'll help you. All right, thing number four you can do to help yourself succeed is work with other people. F form a study team. 
you know, we talked about the importance of teamwork in one of the other modules, and this is a little different from that, but we, you see that when you work with other people, you get different viewpoints, you get different ideas. So if you can work with a group of folks who are fairly similar to you in ability, in other words, you don't want to be the one who's always behind or always asking the questions, nor do you want to be the one who's always having to explain it to others, but if you have a group of folks who help each other, who maybe uh, one person is stronger in the math area, another person is stronger in the English area, and a third person is stronger in maybe the chemistry area, well then you can help each other and you can uh, work with each other to develop uh, your knowledge and your ability to apply the concepts you've learned. And that's really where it comes in too, applying those concepts. So you know what it's like to do story problems in physics, for instance. It, all you, once you get it, it's okay, but until you see it, it's really hard to, to, to manage. So if you can work with others, maybe someone can see it. And the other part about that too is when you are the one who's explaining it, you really have to know it well to explain it to someone else. So you actually learn more by teaching somebody else than you do by sitting in a classroom. So find a group, work with them, help each other. You know, there might be times when the professor will say, this is an individual project, and that's fine. But most things that you do, most of the homework you get, it's fine to work with a study team. And they'll let you know that as well, so I encourage you to do that. All right, the fifth thing you can do to help yourself succeed in college is get a life. Oh, I mean, I talked about do your math every day, good study habits. Ah, oh, you also need to have a life. You need to develop your friendships. You need to develop those activities outside the classroom that enable you to enjoy your time, that enable you to get to know people and feel that you're really a part and connected to this place that you're at. Sure, you want to study hard. Sure, you want to do your math every day. But you also want to have friends and use this time, this college time, to uh, develop your, your social skills, your problem-solving skills, your group interaction skills. You'll look back on it, I promise you, at, when you're older and, and you'll recognize college as being one of the best times of your life. When you got to do so much, when you got to learn so much, when you got to experience so much. So you want to have a life. So those are my um, recommendations for things you do. Oh, I guess there's one other thing you could do. I mean, you could get one of these swell corduroy coats like I have. You know, the kind that have the, the patches on the elbows. You could sit around and rub your chin and go, mmm, that's interesting or you can do your math homework every day. Okay, I'll see you next time.